Hello my friends and welcome back to MTD CNC North America, the world's most popular news channel for engineering and manufacturing. Today I am at Productivity and I'm with my buddy Luke where we're going to talk a little bit more about automation. Now as you can see, there's a Matsura machine right behind us and we talk a lot about Matsura. We talk about the flexibility, the precision, the great attributes it has for low batches and being able to run those 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But now we have a robot, and I got my buddy Luke here to explain from an expert's perspective how this can be done to actually maximize the benefits of the Matsura machine that you all know so well already. So Luke, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thanks for having me. So to my understanding, and you know better than I do, when I think of Matsura, I think, man, I can run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I can run an average batch size of three, five, something like that because the way my pallet change works, I can load while it's running. Right. And when I think of robots, we obviously live in a world now of cobots and robots. And when I think of robots, I think of higher batch sizes. Is that kind of what we're doing here? That's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, right now we got, we're set up here for two pallets, parts. Uh, we can load that up, we can walk away, come back later, they're done. Uh, we're really precise, we're loading, unloading in the same spots every time. When we load, we even set the part down, come over, we push it to a qualify move of the robot, and then we come back and we use a pusher plate and push it down to hold pressure on it while the vice clamps. So it's in the same spot every time. Well, I mean, it really is. We make it sound simple to the audience who hasn't played with this, but it really is, once it's set up, kind of runs itself, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not gonna do anything you don't tell it to do. Uh, if it makes a mistake, it, it's whoever, me, whoever programmed it, it's their mistake. So right. it's not too bad. Uh, a lot of people that are getting into automation really think of the robot, think like really overwhelming thoughts and like, what's happening here? And if you, once you know, kind of, in a lack of better terms, dumb it down a little bit, say, hey, think about it, how you would do it. What would you do in these steps? and then you tell the robot what to do in these steps. It's not that bad. I, I think it's important that you say that, Luke, and I say why is because you're familiar. You, I mean, we consider you, we put you on a platform, we, uh, we get teachings from you, you educate us, you know, you've right. been doing this. But it's also fair to continually iterate to the audience that although we are leaving a comfort zone, it's not as overwhelming as we think it might be, and it can be extremely beneficial if we can just take that step, right? Right, yeah, I agree. And uh, here at Productivity, we do a lot of machine tending. So a lot of the times after we do an install, or I do an install, whoever it is, we're uh, in working with uh, machine programmers. So it's kind of just, you talk to them a little bit different, you find the way that you know everybody learns things a little different. And in my experience, I try to, I start with some things that I found have been beneficial to start with. And then if I feel like they're not getting it, I kind of change the terminology a little bit. So that's really what I think, and what I've seen is the most overwhelming thing, is the terminology. Because uh, you'll see it from Matsura to a Makino to a Haas, like there's going to be slight term differences. And once you can get over that hump, you can get familiar with the pendant, just like you would with buying any new machine, any new machine control, it's a lot less overwhelming. And I don't know, I think it's great because I think it's gonna help the industry grow more. It's gonna help operators wanna do more and learn more. Uh, that's what I see. When I'm looking here, are we measuring this part as well when it comes out of a machine? Yep, so we're, uh, we pull it out of the machine, we're bringing it over to the CMM. Uh, this Hexagon Tigo is actually doing a profile flatness check and uh, doing just some overall checks just to demonstrate, you know, a good amount of the capabilities of the machine. Uh, we can even send information right back to the machine if you need to do offsetting on the fly, things like that. It's kind of what my first answer is, or question is, somebody like, I want to get into automation. Okay, how complex do you want to make it? Do you want to make it simple for your first start? And then do we want to make it simple and grow on that? And what's the answer you get most of the time? Let's try to keep it simple. <laughs> That's very fair. You know, when I look at something like this, I what pops up in my head is 
Okay, in my company right now, where are my bottlenecks? Is it in machining? Okay, great. Well, we're solving part of that by being able to run 24 seven. Right. Is it in my CMM department with measuring? Because I've heard the rumor, if you can't measure a part, you can't machine a part. Right. So it's very important to be able to measure. And what we're doing is kind of combining everything and saying, Let's automate this to the best of our ability, and maybe by the time we're done, all we do is put it in a box at that point, and it's ready to ship out the door, right? Right. You know, it's a lot of people nowadays, it's everywhere around where is struggling to find help or work. And this will never call in. He's there. He's always there, always working. As long as you keep feeding it material to cut, it's going to keep feeding the machine. Well, here in Minnesota, where we are, Productivity, you guys have a fantastic company. But what I want to ask is, also here at Productivity, do you do a lot of turnkey for your customers? So this type of setup, you could actually prove out for them before it ever hits their floor. Is that something you guys yes, work on as yes, well? Yes, we do a lot of we do a lot of turnkey stuff. Uh, either if it if it's an existing machine and they can't ship it here. We do what we can to mock up the machine here, test it out, prove it out here, and then we do the same thing when it hits their floor. Otherwise, if it's the full thing here, they do a full turnkey, we'll go get AES involved down the hall. They'll work on the machine part, and we work together. Uh, we'll work with PQI quality on the, the CMM to make everything work out well. We prove it out, we have them come in, whoever the customer is, how do you like this? They like it, if they don't like it, we make the changes, you know? It's, it's not that bad. And then it'll hit their floor, we get it installed, and then it's up and running for them. So. Yeah. Uh, to me, Luke, that's a beautiful thing. And, and that goes kind of at the beginning of our conversation where we're trying to step out of that comfort zone, right? Right. If I can work with productivity and say, hey, here's my worries, but if you can build it for me and prove it to me, and I can kind of stop by your facility from time to time and yep. be a part of the process as it's growing and be a part of the training. For you folks out there, something like this with productivity, this is exactly what we're looking for in order to get that confidence we need to take our shop to the next level of automation. Right, yeah, and we do have that a lot. Like, there's a lot of times they, hey, come on in for, you know, it's a, say it's an eight week project. Come in every couple weeks, we'll see the progress, we'll have meetings, we'll talk, we'll make sure everybody's on the same page just so that when we get there, it's not just like, hey, we just threw up all this stuff on you at once. <laughs> you know, it's getting the little bits of pieces at a time to help it, help you get over that overwhelming feeling. Yeah, and that makes 100% sense. Luke, thank you so much for uh, explaining this on camera to the global audience. You are absolutely amazing. I appreciate your time. On behalf of MTD, we wish productivity, ultimate success and growth, and keep doing what you're doing, my friend. Really appreciate you. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here.